Welcome back, and in this video, we'll learn how to create animations in Synchro. So to do that, I'll go to the 4D Review ribbon, and then open the Animation Editor, as well as the Animations list. And we'll see that automatically it created a new animation. If we had already existing animations, for example, I'll name that existing animation. You can create new ones by simply right-click, add, and you can name your animation. So I'll call this training animation. And all of the animation creation will happen in the animation editor. So in the animation editor, you have a time scale on top, and you might have to make that window bigger in order to see the time scale, depending on your screen resolution. And then the camera channel, the focus time channel, and the events channel. We'll ignore the events channel in this video and focus on the camera and focus time channels. And the way you create an animation using those is that whatever happens in the 3D view can be captured in the camera channel, and whatever is in the GAN chart can be captured in the focus time channel. Let's explain this. For example, for the camera, I can position the 3D view so that I'm looking at the project from top and then capture that keyframe. And then maybe five seconds later, uh, zoom in and capture this keyframe over here. And then it would take the camera exactly five seconds to interpolate from point A to point B. In this case, for example, we notice that halfway through, uh, the project is going out of frame, I can simply pan and capture another keyframe. And the same exact thing can be done with the focus time, where I can position the focus time, for example, at the beginning of the project or at the beginning of a specific task. And then at the end of the project, or maybe at the end of a look ahead window, and then determine how long we need uh, the animation to be in between the two. In this case, I'll just pick 10 seconds for example's sake. And if you play the animations, and by the way, I'm playing the animation by hitting the spacebar, but you can also use the play key over here. We can also drag the mini focus time in the animation editor to review our animation. For example, we may notice that the steel construction happens way too quickly. I can simply slow that down by capturing a keyframe at the beginning of the steel construction over here, and then maybe at the end of the steel construction, and by stretching those out so that they cover more time in the time scale. And now if you play this, it's still a bit slow. I can stretch that out without affecting the downstream keyframes by holding down the shift key. And of course, this slowed down the animation of the focus time However, the camera animation was exactly the same. I can slow that down too. And there it is. Here are the basics for creating an animation. You can also mess around with the interpolation types between the two keyframes. For example, by default, it will use the line function. You can also use a step function if you want to skip over a camera movement or skip over a specific point period of time where there's no work. For example, in the line function, I would go from, uh, let's go to the last keyframe. I would go from this keyframe to this keyframe using a linear interpolation. Let's look at that. If I choose step, then it would be something like this, where it's a fixed camera that suddenly steps to the other one. We can use curve, where it uses a standard Bezier curve to interpolate the two camera vectors. 
and finally we can use turntable where you have to select if this is grayed out it means that no object is selected and in that case you'd have to uh, select an object so to show this this would be grayed out and the reason why you have to select an object is because the turntable effect rotates the camera around that object so if I use that now I can specify the amount of rotation and the direction so let's do 180 degrees counterclockwise and that would look something like this if I want to slow it down I simply spread the keyframes so that they take more time and that's how you create an animation so pause the video now and create your own animation and I'll recreate one from scratch after you come back. Okay, welcome back. So let's recreate the animation from scratch. So I would remove all, then remove all. And then in this case, I want to show the whole project. So I'll start by simply putting the focus time at the beginning of the project, capturing a keyframe, going to the end, capturing another keyframe. Let's make that around 20 seconds. Then I want to change the camera. I can start by zooming out and then zooming back in to show the big picture and then focus on the construction area. While the construction is happening, I won't be changing the camera too much, so I'll leave that as is. Maybe around halfway through the project, we want to show a different angle so we can capture a different angle and while that camera change is happening, I can capture the same keyframe for the focus time so that time pauses. So let's see how that looks like. You zoom in, the project is happening. Then we change camera angles and finish the construction. That looks good. In the next video, we'll look at the events channel and then how to render out the animation. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.